Hey Drew James here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com and I'm playing Lullaby by Brahms. This fingerstyle song has free tab available at my website. It just takes a name and email address to join. You can click the link in the video right now or there's a link in the video description. So we're gonna get started on learning it. It's, I would say it was kind of medium beginner for you fingerstyle players out there. Anyway, let's start learning it. So this is fingerstyle guitar, which means that the thumb plays the E, A and the D string, the index plays the G, the middle plays the B and the ring plays the E. That is the classical approach to assigning fingers to the strings, okay? So the beginning of this song, that's the beginning. Not too bad to get started with. So open B string twice with the middle finger. And then we want to find the third fret on the thickest string and the third fret on the B string. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can use your ring and pinky finger to find those notes and you're gonna pinch them, pull them both at the same time. Or you can use your middle and ring. Now in this particular instance, it doesn't matter too much which one you use. The middle and ring is a little bit easier in terms of to fret them and put them down, but the ring and pinky can be helpful to have the index finger spare to do other things. But I'll let you decide on that one. So middle and ring, I'm gonna use for now. Then open on the D, then open on the G. Then lift up the ring finger or the pinky if that's what you're using and play the two zeros again. So, so far we've got. Then we're gonna put that ring down again. No point in lifting up third fret on the thickest string. And then we're just gonna pinch those two again, then thumb on D and open on the G, just like we did before. Then we're gonna lift up the ring again, play it open, and then put it down and play it three. Okay, so, so far. Good, now from here, Keeping the middle finger down, or if you're using ring and pinky, doesn't matter, but keeping this down, just move the ring finger down to the third fret on the thinner string, like you're doing a traditional open G chord. Pinch the top and bottom strings together, then open G string. Then with the index finger that's spare, or if you're doing it this way, you would use the middle finger that's spare. The index finger that's spare, you're gonna play fret two on the thinner string to make that F sharp, then open on the E string. Okay, good, so, so far. Okay, now from here, you can move the middle finger down from fret three to fret two on the thickest string, okay? From there, take your ring finger, put it also on fret two on the D string, G string, sorry, and the pinky finger on the B string, like so. Okay, now you don't have to have all of these down at the same time, but it really helps to make this D over F sharp chord. And we're pinching top and bottom strings, that's fret two and thinner string, which is an open. And then second fret on the G, which we're fretting with this finger. And then the pinky playing the three. And then to finish that bar, we play the two again that the ring finger's holding down. And then we play open on the B string. So I'll do that bar slowly. Do you see I'm just having to lift up the pinky? Okay, now from here, leave the middle finger where it is. Put your index on fret one on the B string and pinch those two strings together. So that's thumb and middle finger with the finger star rule. Then we're gonna play open D string with the thumb and the ring finger's gonna come down to fret, fret two on the G string. You can keep that held down and then play the two again on the G, then lift up the index finger off the B. Okay, moving into the next bar, I'll recap in just a moment. So the next bar is identical to the previous bar, which is bar six, okay, so it's... That's bar six, and then bar seven is. The only difference is, is the ending. 
there's a zero on the B string in bar six, and in bar seven, the one stays. So the index finger stays there the whole time. Okay, very good. Right, so I'll just recap a little bit up to that point, fairly slowly. Ignore my buzzing, I need to practice it more. Now, from here, we're gonna move into the a D chord. Now you can move into the full D, which is what I've been doing when I've been playing it, or you can just prioritize fret two on the thinner string and just pinch the D string and that two, then play open E string, and then fret three on the B, and then fret two again on the E string. Now, the benefit of doing it individually with the note off the back of this chord, that's making the D, okay? Or you can do it this way and in individually fret them. To be honest, it's not a deal breaker on the tone. It's a little harder to move from this chord to a full D than it is to just isolate the middle finger. But once again, have a little try at both. See which one you prefer. Now let's move into bars nine and 10, which are like this. Okay, so we're fret three on the thicker string and the thinner string like we had earlier. You can use ring and pinky, or you can use middle and ring. This is where I got myself into a bit of a tiz was when I was playing it, because for this one, using ring and pinky is actually a little better because you go to this C chord. And you see you've got the index finger spare. So it may serve you better to do the first part where you do the threes to use ring and pinky. But once again, it's not a deal breaker as long as when perhaps when you get to this part, you either need to go from this to that, you see what I'm doing from the G to the C, or from the G to the C like that, you know? But I'm gonna leave that one up to you. It's all to do with tone and how quickly you can get to it as well. That's a big part of it. So bar nine, pinching top and bottom string, open G, open B, then two open Gs. Then moving to the threes on the A and the E string. Okay, so we're making a sort of a partial C chord. So ring fingers on fret three on the A string, pinky fingers on fret three on the thinnest. And the index is also on fret one on the B string. Pinching the A and the E string, open G, first fret on the B, open G, open on the E and then the one. So the pinky stays on the three initially, but then gets lifted up at the end of that bar. Okay. Okay, then moving your threes up to the E and the B string. Okay, so I'll do that slowly. So I'm pinching those two threes, then open on D, open on G, open on D, Lift up pinky finger to do an open on B and then open on G. Okay, taking it back to bar nine, we have this. Okay, then fret two on the thickest string, first fret on the B string, middle finger also on fret two on the G string. We had this chord earlier in, where do we have it? We had it in bar, um, uh, bar five. So we're pinching thicker string, B string, then second fret on the G, and then third fret and then open, third fret on B. Okay, then move the middle finger up to fret three for a seamless transition from 12 to 13. Lift everything else up, but just leave, move middle finger to fret three. Pinch thicker string and B string, open on the B, open on G, third fret, fret on the B. So I'm just using my ring finger for that. And then we've got these two open Gs, which you, in that time, you can be making your C chord again with the pinky finger on fret three on the high G note here. And that's the same as we had in the bar directly above in bar 10. 
done that before. Got these threes again, exactly like we had in bar 11. The rhythm's just slightly different. We go one and two, three and. And in bar 11, it was one and two and three. And there's just an extra note in there, but not in 15. And finally, we've got fret two on the thickest string, and fret one on the B string. Pinching those two notes, then open D, open B, open D, two on the G string, and then just move this middle finger up to the three on the third fret, back into the key of this song, which is in G, thumb, index, middle, doing a big pinch, so the index fingers on the D string breaking the finger style rule and the middle fingers on the G string. And you're pulling those two together, so it's... Okay. Then, from here, you can then go around in a circle. Hence the two dots on the tab, if you've got it. And you can do the open two open B strings, missing out the first two open Bs in bar one. And then you go around again. I really hope you've enjoyed that. Keep on playing.